Hello everyone, this is John from Compass Rose Brushcraft and today I'd like to do a little review of some tools that I always carry when I'm canoe camping. And you know, it's funny, it's something so basic to have a few tools along for repair, but I haven't really seen any reviews of toolkits people carry when they're canoe camping. So I thought this might be a useful video to put out there. It has been very, very practical for me. I built the toolkit many years ago and I adapt it now and again as I find new things or change, swap out things. But uh, it is one of those things that you carry and 99% of the time don't use. But when you need it, it's urgent. And I can think of two examples over the last many years. Um, one is I had a canoe that had just had new gunnels put into it and I was out on a canoe trip and we were in some rough water and I looked down and the gunnels, the screws had pulled out of the new gunnels and uh, with the torquing of the canoe in the, in the water and uh, so I was able to beach the canoe, get my toolkit out and reef those screws back in. Ultimately they had to be replaced with longer ones because they had stripped their way out and weren't going to hold permanently but at least I could make a temporary repair. A few years later, uh, same canoe on uh, a portage trail, uh, a fairly, fairly lengthy over kilometer portage trail, uh, and I hoist the canoe onto my shoulders and long and behold the yoke ripped out where some water had got into the screw holes for the yoke and over many many years had created rot that I wasn't aware of and the yoke collapsed meaning that I was sitting in the bush without any easy way of carrying the canoe. And so what I was able to do is put the canoe down, get my toolkit out, take the primary screws out, uh, create a bit of a patch out of some material in the bush, uh, put the gunnel back, put the rather the yoke back in with my toolkit, and get through the portage. Again, the repair had to be completed at home with a new yoke and and whatnot. But at least I was able then to get out of the bush safely. So the toolkit has turned out to be a really handy item to come along. I keep it in a, in a little uh, nylon bag along that line and I'm going to turn the camera down so that you can see what's in it and I'll go through the items and explain why I carry each of them. So here is the toolkit all laid out and I will go left to right to show you what each of the items is and of course this is a substantial roll of duct tape um, and of course there's, uh, as most woodsmen know, there's very little that can't be repaired with duct tape from tears in tents and clothing and packs to uh, small holes in canoes and all kinds of things. Uh, so I always carry the roll of duct tape. And then inside of that, normally just tucked in the crevice of that, I carry this little screwdriver set from Lee Valley. Uh, the screwdriver works so that when you take out the bit, you can extend the little interior, spin it around, and there's a variety of the most common bits that are contained in this. And the driver itself just goes inside, the bit comes out, it's magnetized so that the bits stay in, and they go into the little case. It spins around and it is kept safe. And that tool has turned out to be very, very handy to have alone. Next is, uh, and a more recent addition to my tools, is the Arm Bar by Gerber. Uh, this is a folding screwdriver. And uh, the reason I got this is that while this little Lee Valley one is handy, it's also a little bit awkward to use. So this gives me a more normal screwdriver, which I can extend uh, with a Leatherman extender for screwdrivers, so that it can be extended out to be the length of a normal screwdriver. And the uh, arm bar also has some additional tools which are very handy to have. Also it has a magnetic um, holder so that the bit will not fall out, which you don't want if you're in long grass or something along that line. But the arm bar has the screwdriver. It also has a small knife on the other side, locking blade, actually quite a nice little locking blade knife. A little liner lock there and then it has a small awl and a little pair of scissors that comes around and uh, you bring it around oops, don't use them that often, there we go and you've got a little pair of scissors 
And again, just a really handy, simple tool. Mainly I got it though, of course, for the screwdriver and uh, for the how handy that can be. Next, I carry a little Leatherman. And this is a really early model Leatherman, but it has stood me in good stead as it has uh, helped with various repairs uh, over the years. Uh, from uh, opening split rings uh, to cutting some little wire cutting. Uh, it also has a file and a spare knife blade and an awl, I believe, and a flathead screwdriver. So, again, a really good little tool. Uh, also, I think it has a bottle opener, a can opener. Yes, it has some of those things and a little Phillips and a little eyeglass screwdriver on there as well. So that pair of pliers has been very handy to have along for the gripping of various um, nuts, bolts, screws, all those kinds of things, cutting wire, folding wire, bending wire, um, and that has been quite handy to have along and uh, has served well over the years. Next is a little pry bar that uh, I picked up at some point and have thrown in the pack. It has a little wrench head. I'm not all that useful, uh, but the prying feature and the little uh, hex uh, head here is uh, the same size as the little screwdriver bits so that one can open the screwdriver and put this around the bit and get and get extra strength for the for the twist on the on the screwdriver bit so again just a, a light handy tool to have in there uh, don't need it very often but uh, very important, uh, very important when I do need it. This is a little melting pot that I put in here, made out of the cap, a plumbing cap. Um, the idea being that I can make a little bits of uh, pine tar glue. This is a new one, but I have used uh, a little cup that I have to make uh, pine tar glue, and it's been very handy. On a campsite some years ago, we were trying to put a couple of boards together to make a bench to sit on and uh, melting my pine, car, pine tar glue, uh, which is a little bit of ash, uh, carbonized ash, a little bit of um, uh, beeswax, and it made a nice uh, glue and was able to make a wedge out of wood and put the two boards together into a very stable sitting platform. The glue held the wedge in place, so I've carried that for some time, very handy to have. Then I have the sewing all the uh, speed stitcher, and this is, uh, again, very handy. In the back of it is the thread that it needs on a spool. And the thread comes through the handle and then through a couple of needles that are under this cap. And it works as both an awl and a stitcher. And so it's a great little tool uh, if you want to repair a pack or some little bits of leather work or uh, take a few stitches and a belt or something along that line. It can be a really handy little tool to have along. It's not the only sewing equipment I take. The next item has this more in. Um, but uh, this one is very good and gives you a good purchase for punching holes as well as for stitching. Finally is this little pill bottle that I have some bits of leather in that are very handy for reinforcing things. And just little scraps of it. I have a little wrench, tiny little wrench, but it's enough, it's large enough. Uh, it fits most of the nuts that hold things on like thwarts and seats and stuff in my canoe. And so it's a great little piece of kit to have. I carry some sewing equipment in here. So I have uh, leather needles and pack needles and whatnot and the thread to go with that. I won't bother taking that out. An extra needle for my uh, speed stitcher. And a bunch of uh, little nuts and bolts in the bottom of that. I no need to take those out, but things like washers and uh, various sizes of screws that I use on my canoe. And the final thing is an extra burn plate a burner plate for my Primus stove because some years ago it got left behind on a campsite which rendered my stove useless for the rest of the trip. So I always now carry an extra burner plate for my Primus stove just in case and fortunately I haven't lost one since that first time. So those are the basic tools that I um, carry along with me when I go onto, onto, on a canoe trip. Um, and uh, again, several times I have needed these tools and they have done a great job of, of uh, creating the repairs that I've needed to do in order to be able to both enjoy my trip and get myself back out of the bush. So this is John from Compass Rose Bushcraft. Um, please uh, like, share and subscribe and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for dropping by.